So this weekend is the big butterfly count, but I'm not out counting butterflies. Today I'm looking for dragonflies and damselflies. Now these guys are just as fascinating and beautiful as butterflies, but I think they get a bit of a bad rap or they're a little bit ignored. So with this video, I'm hoping to highlight them and show you just how gorgeous and interesting they are. Now here at Walthamstow Wetlands, uh, you can see behind me the wonderful wetland reservoir. It's a beautiful sunny day in July, which is one of the best times to come out and look for damselflies and dragonflies. I'll give you some facts about them and some tips as well on how you can get close enough to them to hopefully snap a few good pictures. really are incredible insects. So they first evolved around 300 million years ago. They were one of the first flying insects on the earth. Back then they had a wingspan of around two and a half feet, which is incredible. Um, today the longest you can find is probably around five to six inches, but they're still one of our biggest insects. They're absolutely beautiful, jewel-like colours. They fly really, really well. So compared to sort of the fluttery flight of a butterfly, these guys are sort of fighter jets of the insect world. They've got a huge compound eyes which means that their eyeballs are actually made up of hundreds of little tiny eyes so they can see all around in all different directions. Um, they're really, really good at flying. As I said, they can fly forward, backward, sideways, they can hover like a hummingbird and all that helps them catch their prey. Watching dragonflies is a little bit of a sport, a bit like bird watching, so you might spot some people out with their binoculars enjoying a bit of oding. So the word oding comes from odonata, which is the order of the family of animals or insects that dragonflies belong to. So yeah, let's grab our binoculars and go see what you can find. dragonflies and damselflies try and find a space where you can see some open water. Uh, dragonflies and damselflies love to patrol up and down when they're searching for prey. These insects aren't as cute and ugly as butterflies unfortunately. They don't feed off flowers. They actually are carnivores so they'll catch their prey on the wings. As they fly they'll grab them with their legs. They might even eat them on the wing uh, and they'll most often land and then just feast on the insect that they've found there at the edge of the water. So yeah, make sure that you've got a good vantage point and you can see quite a lot of water. Damselflies, they're kind of the smaller cousin of dragonflies. You can spot the difference because when a dragonfly lands, it will spread its wings out flat, whereas when a damselfly lands, it keeps them close together along its back. My favourite kind of damselfly is called a damoiselle. They are absolutely beautiful, peacock blue, and they flutter all over the surface of the water. They're wonderful to spot. So yeah, head out and see if you can find one of those. So something that we'll often see when we're looking for dragonflies and damselflies is two that look like they're stuck together. This is actually the male and the female, and they're mating. So the male is carrying the sperm, and the female carries the eggs. They'll fly around together for a little while, and the female will put her abdomen below the surface of the water and deposit individual eggs on the underside of water lilies or on other bits of water weed. These eggs will stay under the water until they develop into nymphs. Now these are truly terrifying looking insects. They're about this long. As they grow, after about a year, they'll climb up a piece of reed or another kind of weed at the edge of the water. They burst open rather like a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. So the chrysalis will burst open and the butterfly comes out. It's the same deal. The nymph will burst open and a dragonfly will come come out of the back of the nymph and that is how dragonflies reproduce. So I see some really fantastic dragonfly behaviour standing next to the engine house. They are so territorial, I hadn't realised this before, but they really do not like anything going into their airspace. If another insect comes within a couple of feet, they zoom up to try and attack it and get it out of their airspace. It's really, really impressive to see. Lots and lots of fights, but unfortunately too speedy to capture on camera. Um, what else? They're voracious predators. They really will go for anything. I've seen them attack bits of fluff, bits of dandelion seed that's sort of drifting in the breeze. Absolutely anything that comes into their airspace they will attack. So it's been a really, really great half hour watching the dragonflies here and I'll make sure to upload all of my images to my blog, Quest for Nectar, so if you'd like to see those head to the link down in the description box. So another good tip if what you're after is a photo of a damselfly or a dragonfly is to create an artificial perch for them. So get hold of a good stick, a nice long one that kind of protrudes out slightly over the water, 
stick it into the bank and just sit and wait and I guarantee you'll get some good damselfly or dragonfly action. Make sure to grab yourself a good stick, head out with your camera and get a good photo of a damselfly this summer. Thank you so much for following along on this video today. I hope you've learned a little bit about some dragonflies and damselflies and I've inspired you to step outside and see what you can find for yourself. If you do do that and you get really, really into it, then feel free to head across to the Dragonfly Society's website. So there you can log all your sightings of dragonflies and damselflies and contribute to science. So it's really worthwhile and valuable thing to do. Again, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please leave me a comment down below. I love reading all your comments. Make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and to my blog. I'll leave a link down below as always. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.